Hi everybody and welcome back to what is this channel called? <laughs> Hi everybody and welcome back to Facepalm Studio and on today's episode of IT Tuesday, which is the episode that we're recording right now, right now, um, we are going to be learning that I'm, wow, I haven't done this in a minute. <laughs> we're gonna be going over how to install Unreal Engine 5. I have been looking to start doing some more game design again. Um, I've always been using Unity, so this is gonna be a nice challenge for me um, to be able to help you guys learn and how for me to learn how to use this engine. It's been really powerful recently and there have been some really major updates and I think both my systems, the Mac and the PC can handle it. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to install it on Windows today. I've already installed it on my Mac, but I have not updated on here. So um, join me today and we're going to uh, get developing. <laughs> get developing. <laughs> we're going to install this engine. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> So the cool thing about Unreal Engine is that it has such a versatility to it. Um, it's for 3D creation, uh, game design, primarily game design, but you can use it for film, rigging, architecture rendering, uh, live events, broadcasting, simulations. And um, there's a few specific features that I've been really interested in trying to learn in here, including ArcVis modeling and um, just more rendering type tasks where Blender can do certain things, but trying to develop and lighten Unreal is unreal, <laughs> so to say. So we're going to be going over that a bit. Um, but today's episode uh, is we're going to go over how to install it. Um, most of this series will probably be on Make It Mondays when I am actually working in the engine itself um, or Facebook Friday, depending on how well I'm doing. <laughs> um, but let's get into it and we can show you how to get it going. So right here, we're on unrealengine.com. It takes you right to the option to be able to log in for Unreal. Um, I already signed in. So what I'm going to do is download. It's gonna talk about how to be able to go to download it. Um, it is free. It does include a uh, Megal Scans library for Quixel, which is kind of like uh, Substances libraries. <gasps> <clears throat> also comes with its own training program, which is really very interesting. Um, and here are some of the specs that it needs. Windows requires a 64-bit processor, so no 32-bit machines, sorry. Um, AMD higher, uh, 2.5 gigahertz or faster. Um, Quad-core Intel, uh, 8 gigs of RAM minimum. Um, Mac OS Big Sur, which is the previous update. Um, quad core Intel or two and a half gigahertz or faster or eight gigabits of RAM. It also does support um, the Apple Silicon now as well. Um, so we already, so first thing you need to do is download the Epic Games Launcher. I already have it installed, so I don't have to go through that step. Um, so in this case, if you already have it, like say you have Fortnite or something installed, um, you can just say open launcher. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So we'll say open. So this is my professional portfolio like builder thing here. So um, what I have on here is just the UE assets. Um, install Epic Games updates, okay. So this wants us to install some stuff. So it's doing that in the background here. Um, so what we want to do is we want to come over to the library. This is going to show what you have available or what you have installed. Um, right now I have UE 4.25 installed um, as well as the early access of version 5. So I'm going to actually uninstall both of those right now. So that way they're not taking up space on my system. Um, so we're going to go ahead and remove UE 4. And we're also going to remove UE 5 early access. And that's going to do that here in download. So we'll jump back in here in a second when that's all removed from me because I didn't realize they were installed. Um, but oh, actually, well, I'll talk about this here for a second. So we also do have the ability to check and see the version that we have available here. If you hit this plus icon here, it's going to show you the newest version that you have available. Um, and if you hit this arrow to drop down, you can drop down to whichever version you need. Um, so say, if, for example, I won 4.25 back. Um, but in my case, I want to stay at 5.1. That's the newest update that we're going to be installing today. Okay, so now my uh, uninstalls for the old software is gone. Um, 
Um, and that's not a prerequisite to having to do this. I do it just because um, I want to have just the 5.1 on there. There's a chance I might need to add those other ones because these older projects may not be able to work going forward. Um, but when you're ready to install, sounds like Caitlin's watching a movie. <laughs> All you do is you hit the install button and then this is where it's going to choose your browsing location to be able to install the software here. Um, and I am going to keep it on my D drive. I already have an Epic Games path here um, and it's going to create a new folder for UE 5.1. And it's also going to create a shortcut for the installer on my desktop. So we're going to go ahead and hit install here. And it's also going to queue the available plugin. So my Quixel bridge um, is going to queue with that as well. And so you'll see here now that it's going to install. Um, and I have pretty fast read and write speeds here. So hopefully it downloads pretty quick for me um, and we should be able to continue to the next part. And I should be able to uh, show you what it looks like when you get into the engine a little bit. Two hours later. So now that you guys can see, um, everything was finished deleting and downloading. And now we are back here and we are ready to launch. Um, now it is still finishing up a little bit here with the Quixel bridge, but we should still be okay to go ahead and launch the software. Um, let me actually just check that really quick. It downloaded it very fast, so we should just be able to give that a second here. Um, and now I'm gonna just show you guys how to um, kind of get the launcher open and show you guys what it kind of does when you go to launch this. Um, hopefully it doesn't like crash or anything because it shouldn't, but you never know with this kind of stuff. There it goes. Oh God, now there's four of them. Of course I closed the most open one. Okay, so we'll go ahead and let's get back down to the desktop level here. Alrighty, so now it's launching. It took me a minute to actually get it going, but now it's initializing. And this is gonna open up the UE5 opener, the launcher for the U actual engine. And you'll see here on my desktop, once I find it here, uh, I have a new Unreal Engine um, plugin here. New little shortcut for it. And the first time launching this, it's gonna take a minute for it to actually pull up all the particles and everything and all the actual assets um, to actually get the engine to work. But after that, it runs a lot smoother. I say as everything crashes on me. All right, so now that we're in the engine, it still launched three of them. So let's close the other ones out. Um, and now we actually have the actual project launcher. So we can actually choose like some of the default ones. Um, and there's default projects for each of these, which is really cool. Um, so I wonder if we can just do Oh, I don't know. Uh, we'll we'll do a game one. I wonder if we can launch. Let's see here. Let's do browse. Okay. So this should launch the workspace. All right. So now uh, that crashed on me. So we're gonna go ahead and just launch. Uh, we're gonna launch the first person game here. We'll just go ahead and say create. Well, we're gonna move to where this is at. Um. Uh, we'll do this in working disk and I have a game design folder on real projects. Oh, it did make a copy of it. That's funny. I thought it wasn't going to load for a second. We'll just do it there. We'll say create. And this is just the basic template for like a base project. So you have a working character, you have some assets in the scene. Um, and then on Make It Monday, we'll go over some of the actual um, like navigation and stuff in Unreal because I need to do some experimenting with it too. So I think this would be something fun for us to be able to work with all together, um, as well as being able to uh, do some modeling and being able to import things into Unreal and try to create them as the game asset. I think that'll be a good uh, learning opportunity for everybody. And hopefully some good opportunity for some good facepalm moments because we haven't had a good facepalm Friday in a while. Um, so this is just compiling the shaders and getting things launched up here. Okay, so here we are in the project view. Um, and the only thing I'm gonna do right now is I'm just, it's preparing the shaders here, um, but you can already see we got a little bit of skybox. Um, we have a little bit of a viewport. Oh my goodness, I have to remember how to navigate. This is gonna be the hard part. Um, 
so you can see here we got the template going and this is UE5 so I'm actually not as familiar with this layout right now um, but we're just gonna go ahead and hit play and this is gonna launch us up to our character um, so you can see here now I am actually in the game uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the gun and we'll go ahead and shoot a little bit here you guys can see that it is a fully working game engine and we are going to be very excited to be able to start working in this together interesting okay um, motion blur a little bit of that um, it's actually not tanking the game too much or the footage rather too much which is really good to see I was kind of worried about that for a second um, but that's uh, that's Unreal Engine um, and the easiest easiest terms to show it um, and again like I said we'll be doing a video about the actual navigation and layout in this um, to show you guys how it all works um, and how to like actually like work with these assets and to be able to move things around and change the how the scene layout works and everything so i hope you guys join me for our new series on making monday um as well as i'm going to start going back into some blender basics too so make sure you guys tune in for that um but that's going to be it for this it tuesday so until next time guys keep creating save the pain from those facepalm moments like i had while making this and we'll see you guys in the next video bye